All right, welcome back to the Morning Blend. It seems almost impossible to pull teenager, teenagers away from their cell phones. To be honest, we're probably all a little guilty of spending too much time attached to our devices. That's true, but in our kids, is it actually having an effect on their, on their grades and their GPA? Here to answer that is Dr. Melissa Westendorf from the Technology Wellness Center and a few studies that are going to back it up, too. Good to see you <laughs> yes, again. Hi, good, good to, to see, see you. you as well. Yeah, we know. We were talking about during the break how, how much our cell phones, uh, they, they give us almost an anxiety. We hear the sounds. We, we want to keep checking it. It's like this Pavlov response to, like, be rewarded Absolutely. when we get a notification. Yeah. So this is clearly, if it's affecting us as adults as much, it's got to be affecting kids even more. Right, right. So I, I looked, and there's three types of studies that have gone on looking at this particular issue. And so one of the studies, they looked at college students and what their cell phone use was during class is what they're looking at, okay? And so they did a self-report and they held con what they call in research, holding constant things that they know relate to college GPA, like high school GPA. If you believe you can work hard and earn a good GPA, your smoking status, that sort yep. of thing. So they held all those constant. So if you had like, um, the same gendered student in the same sociology class at Brown University, yep. um, and they were non-smokers, the difference in their GPA was correlated with the amount of cell phone use they had in class. Um, another study, what it did was really interesting. After every single class, again, this is college, every single class they marked down how many times they used their cell phone. Okay, it didn't matter for what, but they used their cell phone. And what they saw was that it was again associated with their GPA the more they use mm. um, the less the lower their GPA it significantly it was, well you know it was like 0 0.5 0 0.6 but if you're looking to get into nursing school yeah that can right. 0.3 might make the difference right mm -hmm. and so what they saw is even over time so like if a student was using more up into a test their score was lower if they used less their score would get higher yes. so it's really interesting as it went through so they could also alter those uh, pointed those points just by using less or more. Right, they could. That wasn't the purpose. The okay. students didn't know, so they were just looking at it over the course of the mm -hmm. semester. But it was really interesting to see that go up and down. Um, and it was about 500 students that they were looking at. So wow. those are two studies. Was there a yeah, third Yeah, so two? the third one, there's been research looking at when high school started using strict cell phone policies. In mm -hmm. the beginning, they didn't have them. The average GPA has gone up in those schools after they implemented that strict policy. Well, okay, wow. this is fascinating that you just brought that up because my oldest daughter has graduated from high school and is now in college, and I worry about her cell phone right. use because mm -hmm. um, now it's all she's all on her own, <laughs> right, you know, know. So it's all Free self know. self regulated. Yeah. But my my son is just starting high school, and it used to be that my daughter in high school could have her phone on her; they couldn't necessarily use it during class. Right. But he said now, when he gets to class, they have to put him in I don't know, like a cubby or like a slot oh, sure. and check in their phone and then right, take right. it when they leave class. Yeah, I think teachers use that for attendance now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was super excited to hear about that. Yeah. I like that right, actually right. Um, because I think even if it's on silent or um, just on vibrator, vibration, there's still, it's still going to oh, be yeah, a distraction. You can pull it out and look under the desk. I mean, yeah. we've all done yes. that, right? Yes. So yeah. yeah, so really there is a correlation. Now, there could be some other third variable that's a part of this. Say if it's somebody who's more anxious, they're looking at their phone more and they're yeah. having a hard time in school and their GPA is lower. But, I, but that's not going to be the majority. I mean, I think that really there is an association between more cell phone use in the classroom, lower GPA. Mm. And, and what do you, so it doesn't matter what they're looking at or what they're doing, because a lot of students, I would imagine, use their phone to aid them in learning. Right, right, it and certainly can. It, do you think that that even should be taken out? I mean, you know, I mean, we think about, we all made it through college just fine with books, you right. know? <laughs> <laughs> but, right. you know, obviously Google and things like that are just at our, our, our finger touch. Do you think yeah. it, you know, there are benefits to technology or do you think it really is the fact that we just really need to keep it out of the study room? Because kids know, are going to say like, well, they're right. studying they need it they needed to research something or whatnot but not necessarily during class right right you know I mean I can and maybe, they have a computer right right you got to check your calendar maybe if they're yeah. scheduling something I get that part of it but but when you're not paying attention to what the instructor is giving you who's going to be testing you mm -hmm. right and you're even if you're researching something else you're missing out on what is being taught in the classroom and mm -hmm. I say that only because I, I know that kids are going to come back with an argument right. as to why they need it for their class for their teacher right. and parents I think need to be equipped to answer that that no you mm -hmm. know absolutely real quick what's your suggestion to parents and maybe during homework because mm -hmm. you can't if you if you send a kid to, to school with their phone you can't regulate 
emulate what they do with it at school. Right, right. So you practice it in the home. We, you know, at middle school, high school, when um, homework is really important, then what you do is you say, hey, you need to do 30 minutes without any devices. Now, they may have to use their computer, obviously, yeah. and you're going to have to watch that because mm -hmm. Facebook can be on there. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. there's messaging. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't use Facebook anymore. Yeah. But anyway, um, they need they need to get in regular habit of 30 minutes of this is what I'm dedicated to. Yeah. You know, and then Focus. if they have an hour's worth of homework, then yeah, they do 20 minutes, you take, give them a break, they can do whatever they want on social media, then go back to it. So get them in the habit of it. I mean, it, even like when they're sitting down to dinner, I mean, really in a restaurant, yeah. they should be learning to sit down, be able to have a conversation, um, do their homework, sit in class without their phone. Yes, mm -hmm. or their tablet. It's huge. Tablet. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's hard, and it's up to us because I think to, if you if you give them a phone and you expect self regulation, very few people are going to see that that, that that's going to happen. So I think. And I do recommend that parents talk to their college age students about this and tie it to if you want to go to nursing school, you want to go to law school, you want to get into whatever um, part or whatever program you want to get into. That it that sometimes point five is a huge. Deal. Deal. Tie it yeah. to their goal. Yeah, right. technologywellnesscenter.com is the website to learn more about what, what Melissa does and, and all of this great Absolutely. technology information. Thanks so much for being you here. You bet.